Okay, lesson three is we're going to look at sound and adding of waves. Okay, so it's kind of two, two concepts there, sound and adding waves. Um, here we go. Need to know transverse and longitudinal. Okay, transverse waves basically are up and down waves, which is mostly what you think of when you think of a wave. So we'd say something like the particles move perpendicular. To the to the uh, direction of the wave. Okay, so the particles are moving up and down. You can imagine in the water, you know, the water basically is just moving up and down. The wave travels sideways, but the particles are moving up and down. Okay, longitudinal is more like a compression wave. You could represent it like this, have the lines get closer and closer together, and then get farther and farther apart, and then back close together. Okay, that would be longitudinal. Um, particles uh, move parallel to the direction of the wave. Okay, this is more like a compression wave. Or sound wave, really, is what we're talking about. Okay, most likely. All right, so a sound wave or compression wave where the particles more move sideways. You can imagine the particles are far apart, and then they're closer and closer together, and then they're far apart, and then they're closer and closer together. That's kind of how a sound wave uh, moves through the air. Um, it's moving this way. The particles are moving back and forth. Okay. Uh, let's see. Some things with sound that you need to know is pretty obvious kind of stuff, I think. But if you have a high frequency like this versus a low frequency like this, this would be a high frequency which means high pitch sound, okay? So higher pitch sound. Low frequency, you guys probably know, is a low pitch sound, okay? Uh, the other thing is amplitude, which I think is also pretty obvious. If you have a low amplitude versus a high amplitude, so high, sorry, low amplitude is gonna be a quieter sound And high amplitude is a uh, louder sound. Okay. Um, and then the other thing is that the energy of a wave, it's actually proportional to the amplitude squared. In other words, if you had a wave with two times the amplitude, you know, so you got a wave like this, and then you got another wave that's half the amplitude. Um, so if you have two times the amplitude um, carries four times the energy. Okay, so you know if you if your amplitude of your sound wave is twice as twice as high, it actually means it's four times the energy. Same with like a water wave. If you had a two foot wave to a four foot wave, um, water wave, it would actually carry four times as much energy, not just two times as much. Okay, oops, couldn't see that. All right, and the other thing, we'll flip on the back here, is uh, you do need to add, look at adding waves. Okay, you need no constructive interference. Interference. That's going to be when we have two waves. I'm going to use two different colors. 
I think it will be helpful. Um, it's going to be two waves that line up with each other, okay? So, say we have a wave, try to draw these kind of carefully. Let's say we have another wave, maybe not quite as high of uh, amplitude. Maybe it's like half the amplitude. Okay, I'll make it blue. Okay, so when you draw these, if you could use colors, that would be nice, or just make it clear. Okay, so if I add these together, you know, I got like one plus two, we're gonna, you know, if you look at this as an amplitude of one, this one's an amplitude of two, one plus two, we're gonna be up at amplitude of three. Okay, same thing down here, one plus two. On this here, this peak will be at three. Here it's just zero, you know, because they're both at zero, both at zero. Here it's going to be back up at three, like that. So you basically you'll get a taller wave that has an amplitude of three. All right. So if we say, you know, the black line is wave one, the blue line is wave two, the red would be the sum of uh, wave one and wave two. Okay. Uh, could have destructive interference. Which similar, let's say, you know, same thing. We'll keep the, the frequencies the same. So we'll just divide this up into fours. We'll go up, down, up. Um, say we got that wave. Say that amplitude is like two. And let's say we have another wave that has an amplitude of one, but it's going the other way, like down like this. It only has an amplitude of one. Okay, add them together. Well, now we're saying, hey, they're both at zero, zero here. Here, this one's at two, this one's at negative one, two plus negative one. It's just the answer is just one. Here, they're both at zero. Here, this one's at negative two. This one's at one. Negative two plus one is a negative one. So obviously, they're kind of canceling each other out. Not totally canceling, but partially. Okay, so same thing, you know, wave one, wave two, and then the sum. So when you do these, if you want full credit, please make them very clear so I can see you know what's going on. Okay, but pretty simple, I think, actually. Okay, the last one, to get the very last one on your assignment is a little more complicated. So if you want to stop here and be done, you'll get 9 out of 10 or 18 out of 20. But if you want to get that last one, I'm going to show you this. This is the more complicated thing. So let's say we have two waves uh, that have different frequencies. So again, if you want to just stop the video now, you'll, you'll get 90% of your homework. I'm just going to show you an extra one here to get 100%. Okay, I'm going to break this up. I'm going to make one big wave. Goes up. Two, down, and up. Okay, and then I'm going to make a different wave that has a higher frequency. We're going to say four times the frequency. So I got to make four full waves in the same uh, stretch here. So how am I going to do that? I got to have actually two, four humps here. Um, four full waves. So I have to have a full wave right here, full wave, full wave, full wave. Okay, so that's a little difficult. So I actually got to go up here, down, okay. Try to do as carefully as you can. Up, down. Okay, so I'm winding up with four full waves in the same area as that one big wave. I should have used different colors, but I didn't, so... We'll go with that. Okay, and then I'm just going to add up different spots along the way. So like zero, zero. When they cross, it's going to double. Okay, 
because it's going to add these two numbers together. Um, when this one's at zero, this one will just be, the sum will be right there. This is something plus zero. Um, when they're opposite each other, it's going to add up to zero because they'll cancel each other out. Here when they cross again, it's going to double up here. Um, here it's going to double, so I'm just, I'm eyeballing it, you know, doubling there. Here they're kind of canceling, right? One's above and one's below, maybe right there they cancel each other out. Um, here maybe they cancel each other out again. Here it's just a zero. Um, here we got a point there because it's a zero plus something. Uh, what's going on here? Maybe it's up a little bit here because I'm doing this minus this. Maybe it's like there. This is not an exact, exact science. I'm trying to get the general shape here, though. Here they cross. So I'm going to double. Okay. And here maybe it's at zero again. Here they cross. So I'm going to double it down here. And then back to zero. Okay. So I might hopefully get a pretty good idea of the shape of this based on that. Um, it's going to go up here for sure. It's going to head back up here, it looks like. It's going to head back up here. Looks like we're going down here. Heading back up. Down. And then back. Okay. Something like that, which you can see there's still... Two. You know, it still has some of the characteristics of that original wave of the... Of the... Uh, high frequency wave. In other words, it's got about the same number of humps. I might have missed one there. I don't know. And then, but it's also got some characteristics of the big wave. You can notice it kind of repeats up and down like this. So that's kind of an extra thing, guys. If you don't get that one, not a big deal.